welcome back to Rara's Ventures. Today we are here visiting the Royal Bot Botanic Gardens Kew, which we are very excited about. Kew Gardens is based in Richmond, London, and we came here by car as it's quite far for us to travel. But if you live locally, you can cycle or walk or get a train to Kew Bridge Station which is about a 10 minute walk to Kew Gardens or you can get here by bus and you can get the 391 or the 65 you'll also notice that we're wearing coats because let me tell you the sun is not out it's a bit cloudy and a bit chilly but also you can hire mobility scooters which we have done today I don't know if the cameraman wants to turn around and have a little look. So you can hire one of these, they're uh, free to hire, um, but you do have to pre-book before coming to make sure that you get one. Okay, so let's get COVID out of it, shall we? So things that have been closed or things that have been put in place because of COVID. So, you must book a time slot in advance otherwise unfortunately you will not be allowed in even if you're a member they will they are closing pacific buildings and attractions during the coronavirus outbreak to keep their staff and visitors safe current closures Climbers and creepers are permanently closed um, to make way for an exciting new attraction which we don't know what it is but there's something coming soon. The Marine North Gallery and the Shirley Sherwood Gallery are closed. The Q Explorer is not running at this time. The Pandago Queen Charlotte's Cottage and the Royal Places are all closed. The library is not open to the public and the treetop walkway is closed but we will be going to have a look and take some photos because we asked a member of staff and apparently there's a lift so it's accessible to wheelchairs which is brilliant so we'll be taking photos and sharing with. Some of the benches and toilets are closed off Open toilets are noted on the map on arrival, which you will receive as you come in. The Q Explorer land train is not running and the Badger set in the natural area is closed. The house is closed. Parking is not allowed on Q Road and limited around the area. If able, consider walking or cycling to them if you're close by. The limited number of lockers at Victoria Gates are currently closed, but there's still lots open and to see and do. We'll be sharing with you as we go round. Because this place is so big, we're going to try and cover as much as we can. We will be stopping at different areas to share about each part. Because it's not all open, there will be some places obviously that we can't film and um, won't be able to cover because we just physically won't be able to get around it oh it's a big place so what we're we waiting for let's go and start exploring we are at the lake and slapper crossing the lake covers five acres of water studded with four islands that provide vibrant colors enhanced by their reflection in the lake as you can see. Particularly stunning in autumn, Chinese tepalo trees turn deep red, while black tepalo trees blow red, orange and yellow. The slacker crossing installed in 2006 gives easy access to some of Kew's less visited areas. The black grounded walkway leaves you over the water along the curvy path that mimics the lake's rounded banks. Approaching the bridge, its walls appear from a solid boundary that gradually begins to disappear when viewed sideways on. The lake was created in 1856 in an area that was ex 
excavated to provide gra gravel for terracing the original temp temperate house. Underground channels connect channels connect our lake with the Thames. It was filled for the first time in 1861. Okay, so let's go and have a look and share this beautiful bridge and lake with you and then we should carry on. We are at the Japanese landscape, combining the Garden of Peace, a Garden of Activity and a Garden of Harmony. The Japanese landscape is the ideal spot for a quiet reflection. Main entrance leads into the gardens of peace and tranquil area, reminiscent of a traditional Japanese tea garden. Here, boss pass between stone lanterns and dripping water basins. The Garden of Activity, a slope symbolises elements of natural world like waterfalls, mountains and the sea, while raked gravel and large rocks represent the movement of water flowing and tumbling. And we've done a little video of all the gardens and it's really pretty. So we'll now go and see what else we can find. Hi guys, so we are at the Mediterranean Garden and King William's Temple which we've taken photos of but we thought it was a really pretty backdrop here to do a little little read you see. So the Mediterranean natural habitat, this area of the garden transports you to the sun-kissed landscapes of southern Europe. It was designed to highlight the comic economic uses of Mediterranean plants. The di diversity of life the habitat supports and the conservation efforts needed to ensure its survival. In the centre of the Mediterranean Garden stands King William's Temple, built in 1837 for the Queen Victoria in memory of William 
four. So, normally, if it's in summer, it'd be beautiful, but it's quite chilly today, and it is still very beautiful. Cameraman is gonna have a little peer around so you guys can have a look, and then we'll go more exploring. So we are in the palm house. In the palm house, we discovered the rainforest treasures, like the oldest pot plant in the world of the disease fighting perwinkle. Rainforest plants cover only 2% of the world's surface but make up 50% of species, vital to sustaining life on Earth. Few scientists rely on the Palm House collection for research into medicine and sustainable cropping. A living laboratory dedicated to the Earth's tropical regions, the Palm House is a chance to glimpse the magic of the rainforest for yourself. So we're going to have a walk around and have a look. to the end of our day and we've had an amazing day at that. It's sable friendly in nearly all the places, only a few that aren't suitable for wheelchairs. We'd like to say a big thank you to Kew Gardens for letting us come along today to visit, share with others what to expect while visiting. Like we said at the start, there are some things that we are unable to share with you at the moment because of COVID-19. But maybe once this is over, over maybe we'll be allowed back and cover some of the things that we wasn't able to cover today so again a massive thank you to Kew Gardens for letting us come along today we'd also like to say a big thank you to all our supporters on YouTube and if you haven't already subscribed please press the button down below so you don't miss any upcoming visiting locations I would also like to say a big thank you to Hubby for all his support and doing the camera today and we look forward to seeing you again next month with Rara's Adventures visiting locations. So, we'll see you soon. Bye!